practice and today is a decent day for working outside and trying to get the rest of this uh, exterior wall sheathing on. Uh, there's two things I wanted to talk about in particular today and that is uh, allocation of your various uh, lengths of boards. I have 8 foot, 10 foot, 12 foot, 14 and 16 foot boards and I've tried to be smart about the way that I've been using them. Uh, as we begin uh, getting up to the point where we're at now, the 16 foot boards, I haven't been chopping those up because this section between these windows, that very tall vertical section, I know that I'm going to be able to use up a lot of 16s in there. Also after the windows, uh, I think that's maybe almost 16 feet there. So uh, I've been saving the 16s and not chopping them up into the short sections to go between the windows. Uh, I've been doing a lot of thinking before I've been uh, chopping them up as well. 14 foot uh, uh, boards have been worked out really nicely with almost no scrap, actually no, literally no scrap at all. I'm able to get two of the middle boards and two of the top boards. The middle boards are 42 and 3 quarters inches each. Uh, the top boards actually have a little bit of variability because they go all the way up to the roof and uh, that's going to get covered up with uh, some uh, face board at the end. So those can be anywhere between 41 and 42 inches and uh, between those two lengths, I'm able to get two of each out of each 14-foot board. I've run out of 14-foot boards, and now I'm working with some 12-foot boards uh, at the moment. And I went through the numbers on the 12-foot boards, and the 12-foot boards, I'm able to get two of the middle sections, or two of the top sections, they're both about 42 inches each, uh, and two of these bottom sections, which are 28 and 1 8 I'm sorry, 28 and 7 8 inches long. So uh, by uh, kind of intelligently uh, dividing up the boards. I'm able to get uh, boards that have no scrap at all or almost no scrap. I'm going to do a cut right here and I'll show you what I got left on this board. So down here are my two uh, 28 and 7 8 inch boards for the bottom. Here's one of the middle ones. Uh, that's 42 and 3 quarters. And uh, here's another 42 and 3 quarter inch board, and you'll see the amount of scrap that I've got left on the bottom of this thing. Let me just double check my measurement. All right, 42 3 quarters, yep, right there. Using the carpenter square to make a nice straight line across the top. Uh, the second topic that I wanted to talk about while I, I do this, you can see the amount of scrap I'm going to have left there. Almost nothing at all. So, you know, just by thinking ahead, I'm able to get most of these boards up on the walls instead of having them just be scrap. Uh, the second uh, topic I want to talk about is uh, you know, working with paints, working with stains. Uh, there's a good rule of thumb whenever you buy a bunch of paints and stains, uh, and I, I won't make this cut until I'm done with this thought, uh, that it's good to take all of them and mix them together because there's, you know, natural or, you know, manufacturing imperfections or whatever. So, you know, one batch of red paint may not look exactly the same as another batch of red paint. So if you're painting the wall and you start with one and then you finish that one, you get to the second batch, you know, the other part of the wall might have a slightly different luster or a slightly different color, a slightly different shade. So it's good to mix them all together. Now, when I've been doing uh, this exterior work, uh, I bought two five-gallon uh, uh, buckets of this seal several years ago. I got it a while ago and I've been holding on to it and it, it turned out that wasn't going to be enough and I ended up getting a third five gallon bucket after the fact and I didn't really have the opportunity to, that, that's, that's incorrect, I didn't have the foresight to actually take the advice and mix them together and when I started using that third five gallon bucket it didn't look the same. We've been giving uh, two, co two coats of paint to everything on here, and after two coats of the seal uh, with the new bucket that I bought, it looked about the same uh, as one coat of seal of the other stuff. Uh, and that was not that great. I mean, especially because it's like right on the front of the house. Uh, it looked a lot lighter and it looked, uh, it didn't have as much sh uh, sh um, shine or sheen to it. So uh, what I ended up doing is I gave all of those boards a third coat and luckily, it seems to match now. There's a few of them up here and I think it matches just fine. But that's a good word of advice. Whenever you are working with paints or stains or seals or anything like that, try to figure out how much you need in total, mix it all together, and then you don't have to worry about you know, running out and having it be a different color later on. I'm gonna finish up with these guys, hopefully before we get rain or snow this afternoon. <sighs> and we're getting there. Thanks for watching.